my name is Miriam. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about beneficial bugs. I actually released a thousand blaze with bugs in my apartment since I you know I mentioned before I own over a hundred plants in my apartment. I've been collecting for six years and um, I was scared since I moved in this apartment in November I live near a park. I was horrified that I would get bugs any kind of pest in my plants and then I would really have to get rid of them because I don't think I could handle that. Um, also I'm going to be um, showing you the, my propagations. I did some propagations um, in March and um, now it's time to just uh, like repot them. So I'm going to sh also show you that if you like um, this content, like, share and subscribe or leave any comments in the description below or send me an email um, and I'll be able to answer any of your questions. Thank you. Okay, so this is how it looks. Um, the jar um, with the lace, a wing, larva, and um, you could see the name brand and all that stuff. I will leave everything in the description down below. Um, in the back here, you could see my two betta fishes. Um, these are my only pets. Nova is just here temporary. Next is me unboxing. So here is the package. This is how they come. Package um, is from Arabico Farms. This is where I always order. I got the idea from Summer Raid Oaks. Um, she owns over 300 plants in New York City. She has more than 300 plants. I only have 100. Um, so they come packaged like in a cooler bag and this is how the packaging actually looks this is how they come in they come inside those shells that's like rice um casting something like that and um they in there if you look at them in a white sheet of paper you could see them they like um ferocious little green bugs Okay, so here's the exciting part. Um, here I have a asparagus farm, which is overgrown. I'll show you a little in a, in a little bit. I have a lady of the night right in the middle. This is um, the silver satin potos. A sea blue also. Uh, this is a salta picana. This is a monstera salta picana. Very slow grower. I had it for a while, growing in the, in the water for like two months now. I still haven't rooted out like enough to be repotted. This is a marble queen, but those my daughter gave me a cutting of this plant. Um, actually, this is the second time she gives me a cutting. In the winter, I left it in the car and it froze. Um, not intentionally. I just completely forgot that I had gotten a cutting from her. Here you can see how the um, Asparagus fern is overgrown. It's pot. It's been potted there for two years. Still haven't died. Haven't done nothing to it. Um, we just water it. Um, and you could see the roots are coming out from the bottom. Okay, so um, here is um the asparagus fern in his new home. Or her new home. I just call this Vargas friend. He, I don't know, for some reason. You know that despite the common name, asparagus fern, it is not a, a true fern, but it's in the asparagus family um, or in the lily family, which includes plantains, amaryllis, daylilies, hostras, and tulips. Common name, the plant is not a true fern, but has leaves that resembles one.
Hey everybody in the angel wing begonia. This is a hard to establish um, plant if you buy it as a cutting. Uh, but after it's established, it's an aggressive grower. I bought this begonia from house plant cuttings in Etsy. It's still open. If you want to buy it um, from them, you could just check Etsy. Um, and um, I'm padding two cuttings. I propagated this plant, I don't know, three times now. And um, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. So here I'm going to stake it. I'm going to put um, two large toothpicks and um, hold it up so it could grow straight. But I would like trailing. I don't want this one to trail. Here I'm gonna be repotting um the marble queen photos and I'm gonna use a four inch pot. It's a very small plant. It's just like it, since it trails, it looks bigger than what it is, but the root system is very small on this one, it's not that big. So I'm gonna go for a four inch pot and just let it, you know, just let it get strong in there. Then I could repot her do something bigger, maybe in the fall or next spring. Actually, there is 12 different types of photos varieties. I love them. I have, I think, six or seven of them. Um, and I love all of them. They're very fast growers, very easy to care for, and they're beautiful. Just, just bring a lot of happiness to any room that you put them in. is the zebra blue um this is um a speedy rooter the roots are just gigantic on this the root system that it developed in just a few months is just pretty impressive um and um it's just also an easy it's a very easy beautiful beautiful um plant easy care um i don't have no complaints with it i have a few cuttings that i have propagated from from one cutting that I purchased in Etsy, um, I was not able to find the seller of this plant. Um, I don't know if it's still open, um, but it's just the plant that keeps giving nonstop. It's just beautiful. Maybe you'll be wondering um, what happened to the rest of the propagations in the jars there and are rooted and not ready to be repotted yet. Also, I know I didn't film the lady of the night um, repotting, but I will have a separate video for that and I will explain um, that one hits um, in the heart. That's my mom's plant from Puerto Rico. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 